funny. You are funny. Are you just gonna smile like that the whole time? Yeah. <laughs> Bake today. Are we baking? Yeah, we're gonna make some. We're gonna make some. We're making some hot chocolate. Yeah! Hot we're making cocoa. hot. Hot chocolate is the. It's the sweetest stuff ever. Really? My like that big candy cane is for the hot chocolate, anyways. You have candy cane on your mouth. Let's wipe that up. I'm licking it. Can you see? It's over here. I don't think your tongue can get that far. <laughs> it can't reach. All right. You gotta mix them all up though. Can oh. you pour all of that stuff? Yeah, I am. Into here? Okay, okay, we're not pouring all of that. We're gonna get one teaspoon of salt. Okay, mom, can I do it? Yeah. Oh, thank you. I'm very good at doing it. Mm-hmm. Okay. How about, you know what? I think it'd be good if we put this big bowl in first and then we put the salt on top. So that way the salt's not sitting on the bottom. So can you dump this whole bowl in here? It's kind of heavy, there you go. Okay. It's going Here, can you lift it up a little higher? I'll yeah. put this right in front of you. Okay, ready? Okay, ready? Whoa. Oh. <coughs> all right, excellent. Oh, you gotta make it all the way full. That's good. Everywhere. There we go. And then we need, can you put in the coconut sugar? Yeah. Uh, done with those. Yeah. Okay, that whole bowl can go in. <laughs> I'm just shaking it. You just have to dump it. Yeah, in. There you Whoa, go. That's so much. It's like yeah. a big powder bowl. Okay. Now this is our cocoa powder. Cocoa powder. Now watch, that's going to spray everywhere. It's very powdery, so go all the way down in. Our vanilla bean powder, just dunk that in. Now we're gonna sprinkle. Yeah. Okay. I'm all Here, dirty. Go right like this. Okay, and this one gets dumped. That's our chocolate pieces. That's gonna go in too. Look at that. That's delicious. Mm hmm. Mmm. All right, give mama that. Okay, okay mix. now put it all the way down in and don't go too fast because the powder is gonna get everywhere. Okay, mom. Okay, you can put it all in there then. Fully. Word in. Very good. Okay, and just keep going until it's all the way filled. Okay, put it on. There, it's all full. It's very good. It tastes good, Mom. Okay, you got a rolling pin? All right, let's get some flour. Whoa. Yeah, we're gonna roll it. Mm -hmm. Roll it. 
<laughs> Roll it. Very good. No, we're not making. It's not like Play Doh. We're gonna eat this. Okay. Pick it up. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna get big. You can use your hands. Yeah, spread it all over. We'll use our hands, why not? Yep, spread it all <laughs> over. This Christmas season has not gone as planned. We had a sickness make its way through each of us over the course of about 16 days and it is still lingering. So over two weeks of the Christmas season has been spent sick in bed or taking care of others. And all of my plans for crafts and baking and festive activities did not happen. I ended up at one point just throwing my hands in the air and saying to myself, whatever gets done, gets done. It's not worth stressing over. It's been a somewhat of a forced slowdown and one that I'm actually thankful for, although I could have done without the sickness. It's so easy to get wrapped up in all of the, I, I need to do this, and I want to do this and if we don't get this done it's just not gonna feel like Christmas and honestly when I get into that mindset stress and overwhelm often come along with it I try to do too much in a short amount of time I took a moment and I reminisced over what my fondest memories were of Christmas growing up and I thought I'd share them with you and if you would like please feel free to drop some of your fondest memories in the comments below I would love to read them so my favorite memories of Christmas include making a Christmas cutout cookies with my mom and my Nana and my brother we never missed a candlelit Christmas Eve service and each year Either my mom or my Nana, they would take me and allow me to pick out a new Christmas dress. I always look forward to that. After Christmas service, we would go to my aunt's house where we'd meet up with our family and have lots of yummy food. And then after we got home that night, my parents would sometimes allow my brother and I to stay up late and drink hot chocolate and watch a Christmas classic, usually like Rudolph or Frosty the Snowman or something like that. When we go to bed, we'd always know that my dad was wrapping our Christmas presents. That was his thing. He wrapped all of the presents Christmas Eve. And then in the morning, my parents would wake us up and they would always have some sort of yummy breakfast waiting for us, along with a mug of hot chocolate and marshmallows. Most of what I remember on Christmas days past was family, food, 
games, and a lot of laughter. My most favorite part was actually the day after Christmas. It would be just my mom, dad, brother, and I, and we would all stay in our PJs all day long, eat Christmas leftovers, and watch the six-hour version of Pride and Prejudice. It was either that, or as we got older, I think we may have watched the Lord of the Rings trilogy a few times. It was nothing extravagant, but it was all so special. And as an adult, I cherish those simple memories. And maybe I didn't realize this when I was younger, but I do now. They are my fondest memories, not because of what I was doing or what I received, but because of who I was with. So with the little bit of time left of this Christmas season, I'm going to forget about all of the things that didn't get done and instead focus on giving the best of me and being present in what we are able to do. Taking joy in making a hot cocoa mix with my daughter, memorizing her giggle, her contagious smile, and her delight at covering me in powdered milk. The look on my son's face when I gave him the rolling pin, I could see in his eyes that he had some mischievous plans for it. He was so proud of himself while helping and really enjoyed eating his hard work. We may not have done all the things, but we made memories. So in case you need a reminder, slow down, be present, find beauty in simplicity, and take joy in those you love. <laughs>